Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Public Safety Director Chris Frage, I'd like to welcome each of you to the William Mobile Ashby Community Care Training Center for this morning's promotional ceremony. At this time, I would ask that you please turn off your cell phones and switch them to silent. I would also ask that all uniformed personnel in attendance remain covered for the duration of our ceremony. Today, 42 sworn members of the Department of Public Safety are being promoted to the ranks of Police Sergeant, Police Lieutenant, Fire Captain, and Battalion Chief. At this time, please stand, if you can, for the presentation of the colors by the Newark Police Division Ceremonial Unit, Newark Fire Division Pipe and Drum Band, and the Newark Fire Division Honor Guard, followed by our national anthem sung by Police Officer Tariq Davis. Bishop Elijah Williams of the Welcome Baptist Church. As we pray, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for surrounding us with your grace. Now we ask our blessings upon this great city called Newark. Remember this honorable mayor, Rash J. Baraka, his staff, government council, as well as the great public safety department. 
Remember all of its leadership as it seeks to provide the best professional services to our city and citizens on a daily basis. We pray now that these men and women who are being elevated to higher levels of leadership will be endowed with your spirit of wisdom. We pray that you would work, that they will work cheerfully with their subordinates and superior officers that they provide the proper guidance and supervisions to the day-to-day -day operations. Now, Lord, as we close this prayer, watch over them. Give them strength, courage, perseverance to endure hardship as good soldiers. Give them endurance when they face unjust condemnation and danger. Be gracious unto them and their families. Bless thy going out and thy coming in from this day forward. Give them clarity of mind as they assume this awesome responsibility of leadership with humbleness seasoned with your grace. Now can we say amen. amen. <coughs> Thank you, Bishop Williams. You all may be seated. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge and thank all of our dignitaries and invited guests to attending today's ceremony, in particular the Honorable Mayor Raj J. Baraka, Public Safety Director Fritz Rajay, Assistant Public Safety Director Rufus Jackson, Deputy Police Director Sharonda Morris, Chief of Police Emmanuel Miranda Sr., Fire Chief Del Ortiz, Council President LaMonica McIver, Mr. Ira Pennington, Business Administrator. Thank you all for attending today. I would like to introduce Mayor Raj J. Baraka to address our promotees and guests at this time. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. We're not at a funeral. This is uh, a promotional ceremony, and it's a proud day uh, for I know many families out there. It's a proud day for us uh, up here uh, as well. Uh, some of the folks I've known for a very, very long time, uh, since childhood, some I've met along the way. And uh, I know this is a great feeling for you, and it's a great feeling uh, for your respective departments for the public safety uh, as well. Uh, we need leadership. We, we, this is not just an opportunity or a time to get position. Position only gives you leverage. It doesn't give you power. It's important to understand that. Power is your ability to do work over a period of time. And so we need leadership that exerts power, exerts force, so we can get some things done in this city over a period of time, hopefully a quicker period of time, right? Sometimes we like to be on the stage, we just don't like the lights. Sometimes we like the title, we just don't want to do the work. Sometimes the authority feels good to us, but the job is the problem. The reality is we need you to do the work and the job, to have the position and the power, to have the title and the authority, to show up every day because there are young men and women, gullible, vulnerable, impressionable young men and women that are coming onto our departments, long his historic departments, and they're going to go out there fresh faced, right out of the academy, trying to figure this whole thing out. Your leadership will determine whether they succeed or fail. Your leadership will determine how long they stay on the department, how well they do, how they react to our residents in our community, how they react to young children walking back and forth to school, how they react to young men standing in neighborhoods on the block, how do they react to issues uh, that are critical of crisis, uh, of emergency, how they respond is really up to the leadership here. And so we need a lot of it. We need a lot of leadership. 
And I know you're excited about this. I hope you didn't do it for the money, because these guys over here can tell you that it's not worth it. <laughs> that it just put them in a higher tax bracket and they just got to pay more taxes. Or even the prestige of it. Because while it's prestigious to us, not everybody views it that way. And we serve a God who not, don't respect titles and positions and authority anyway. I hope you're doing it because you love this department. More importantly, you love this city. That you want to do more for yourself and more for your community and more for your family. You want to leave a legacy behind. Because that is more important than anything else. Because you can't take the uniform with you. You can't take the salary with you. You can't take the title and the authority with you. You can't take the position with you. The only thing that you take with you or leave behind is your legacy. What happened because of your leadership? What changed because you were in charge? How did you transform wherever you are? When you walk in the place, it should transform by your very presence. The things you say, the things you do, how you walk, how you talk, what you say. It should be transformative. Your leadership should be transformative. And I'm telling you this because we need it now more than ever. We need it now more than ever. We have gone through some critical times in this city. Both police and fire have lost people, both police and fire have been under heavy scrutiny, both police and fire. But we coming out of the other end stronger, better, more prepared, more advanced, to be the best fire and police department in this state. I'm gonna sit down, but I don't care what anybody say, there's no other departments in the state of New Jersey that can stand next to us in the city of Newark and say they're better prepared, more advanced, they know what to do, they have everything they need. Nobody can stand next to us and say those things. We are the best here in the city. And, you've got the opportunity to lead the best. To lead the best. So, if you have to leave the best, then you have to be better than the best. So let's figure that out. And when you leave here, and you get your, your salary and your new stripes, that's all I can give you, a check and some stripes. Anything else, anything else you gotta get from somebody higher than me, and I pray that even on your bad days and your worst moments, that your leadership is always impeccable and unpenetrable. I believe in you guys, ladies. Uh, despite what the folks say around here, they believe in you too. God bless you, God speed to you, and we look forward to this new class of leadership. Thank you, Mayor. At this time, I would like to introduce Public Safety Director Fritz Rajan. Good afternoon. Come on, good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, the mayor just said it. We've got a higher tax bracket. We've got some, uh, a lot of officers getting financially compensated. But the real work begins now. First, let me uh, thank Mayor Rajay Baraka for all of his support. Truly, the support that the mayor gives to the police, fire, OEM, which is all of public safety, is, is pertinent and, and important for us to do the work that we do. Uh, the reality of it is, I've said it several times over, uh, the city, the mayor, has, has never said no to any support the endeavors of public safety. I'd also like to thank uh, the council members that are here, uh, uh, Councilman Pat Council, Councilwoman Reverend Roundtree, and Council President MacGyver is sitting in the front row. She's here today. They, in turn, um, support us. Uh, they have to vote. And, and, and get these things approved for you guys to get promoted, to have these academy classes. Uh, we seem to have a whole bunch of ceremonies that just came through, and that's all because of the council members, the mayor, 
And lastly, uh, B.A. Pennington, who's sitting in the front row also. Uh, Eric Pennington is really responsible for managing all the directors of the entire city, uh, putting all together as one under the mayor's leadership. Thank you to all of them for all your hard work and support. Today, we're, we're promoting 11 sergeants to the police department, 11 lieutenants from the police department, eight battalion chiefs from the fire department, and 12 captains. <coughs> Truly, it's important that we do these uh, promotions, but first, let's make sure we congratulate and give those members that are stepping into the realms of management a round of applause for their hard work. <laughs> Congratulations to you all. But with this promotion comes great responsibilities. Happy Father's Day to all. Uh, everybody knows what it's like to be a, a father. You have all, specifically I'm speaking to right now, to the sergeants and uh, the captains of the fire department. You have all inherited new children. Uh, if you're a parent, you celebrate Father's Day, as you support your children and guide them, you have all inherited eight to 15 new members where you're responsible for. Welcome to the world of vicarious responsibility and liability. That being said, you're responsible to guide them. You're responsible for the guidance while they're out there working. First impression is the last impression. As the mayor stated, uh, Newark City has the best police and fire department, I believe, in the state of New Jersey even competing around the country. In this state, they all call us for support. Am I not right? Fire department, police department, am I not right? How many times, how many times have they called us for support? The reason they call us is because we do the job right. But in doing the job right, when we have supervisors, we've got to make sure that those supervisors push forward the culture, the integrity, the relationship that we have with this community. We are the community, the community is us. Newark Strong, that's what we are, Newark Strong. In that capacity, it's your responsibility to mentor, guide, and correct the personnel uh, for the frontline supervisors. You are the sergeants and the captains, sergeants of the police and the captains of the fire departments are the ones driving the car. The command staff, us, the mayor, can only give you guidance of where we want to go, but it's your job on the front line because you manage and control the largest portion of every single one of them entities. You're the ones that have the most impression on them. When you see them coming out that morning and their shoes aren't signed, tell them to shine their shoes. Some of the smallest detail is what's going to entail how to behave out on the street. If they come out and look sloppy, guess what? Their job's gonna be sloppy, because that carries over. Attention to detail is what I've always told you, and I'm sure we've all remember that from the academy, attention to detail. When we solve a homicide, a robbery, or a burglary, it's that one nugget of evidence that spins off to us solving the case. The same thing with the integrity uh, of coming to work every day. You come into work, you wake up that morning, Although you had a hard night the other night, you're held over, you're being forced to stay and work overtime, you've got to come in and understand that that person you're going to deal with is dealing with something traumatic. So traumatic that it could change your life. It's your responsibility to embrace that person, embrace the community, guide them, support them. Do your job proficiently. And when you see mistakes, you're the ones responsible to correct it. I'm going to say it again. When you see mistakes, you're the ones responsible to correct it at that scene specifically. So they can learn and move forward. We have 40 new police officers just started a few weeks ago. And we have 79 firefighters. That's a large pool of new people that you need to support and guide. That's over, that's over 100 something new personnel that need guidance and support. And they're looking for you to put them there. To the battalion chiefs and lieutenant, Welcome to the administration portion of your career. 
Not only are you responsible for the people beneath you, you're also responsible administratively to the police or fire department and to the city. You have to make sure that both those entities are safeguarded in your mind, protecting your men and also making sure that the city is safe and the citizens are safe in this community. Mm -hmm. That being said, welcome to new leadership. Those commanders, look up the chain for support. We've got the battalion chiefs, deputy chiefs here on the right that are here, your command staff, they're here to guide and support you. But the reality of it, every mistake that's made out there, each one of you are responsible for preventing them or responsible for correcting those, those mistakes to make sure that we're in a better place. God bless and God speak to you all. Good luck. And to the families, before we go for the families, thank you for loaning them to us. 25, 30 year careers of them being kept up at night, 25, 30 years of being held over uh, every single weekend because they have jobs to do. I know they, I understand they have to go to baby showers, parties for the family, supporting their own children and family, but yet they dedicate themselves to this job. I understand it's painstaking, but give yourselves a round of applause for all, all the support. You guys give your families support for being here today. Let's clap out for your families. I understand. God bless and God speak. Thank you, Director Fraje. <clears throat> At this time, I'd like to introduce Chief of Police Emmanuel Miranda Sr. Uh, good morning. I am honored to be here with you today. I echo the sentiments of Public Safety Director Frage and extending sincere thanks to Mayor Raj J. Baraka. I am also grateful to the Business Administrator Eric Pennington and to each member of the North City Council for their support of today's promotions. And I offer congratulations from the heart to the men and women being promoted today. It's been said that too much is given, much is required. And I truly believe that each of you has been given a new opportunity to exemplify excellence and leadership. But what does excellence and leadership look like? I believe that excellent leadership looks like excellent service. Some would say instead that the role of a leader is not to serve, but to be served. They will argue that a leader has earned the right to be served by others. However, I beg to differ from that perspective. Instead, I encourage you to embrace servant leadership as you move into your new rank. As a leader, you recognize that others will follow in your footprints. They will treat people the way you treat people. They will appreciate people the way you appreciate people. They will meet the needs of North residents and visitors in the same way you meet their needs. And your excellent leadership will continuously be reproduced throughout the North Police Division. This will result in a culture of a servant leadership that becomes a shining model for police agencies everywhere. I am honored to welcome you to your next level of leadership in the North Police Division. Congratulations. God bless each of you and your families. Thank you, Chief Miranda. At this time, I would like to introduce Fire Chief Del Ortiz. take the hat off and squeeze my head, so I can't think too well. So I'm going to keep it off, no disrespect. Good morning, friends, families, dignitaries, and distinguished guests. I would like to thank all of you for joining us to celebrate these promotions. Our newly appointed fire officers and police personnel, and to the promotees, I extend a heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you for accepting the challenge of being a leader within the Division of Public Safety. As we celebrate your accomplishments today, I want to invite each and every one of you to reflect on the significance of leadership throughout our professions. Your new titles may qualify you to lead, but leadership is not about a title or a rank. And the members under your command will follow you, not based on what your title, but based on who you are. When firefighters go into a burning building, they are not only saving people and their homes, they are saving the community's heart. It's why we do it. 
It is why you will do it. It is why you will lead people to fulfill that promise. The biggest challenge you will face in your new roles will center around communication and connecting. We need to stay open and transparent in how we communicate to the newer civil servants who are joining our divisions. They share the same intentions and desires to help the community as we do, but they also bring a new understanding of the world. The other day in this very building, I interviewed the 12 captains that you see in front of you. And I emphasize to them that their success will depend on how they connect with each and every member of their team. I used the recent class of 78 promote, uh, recruits as a reference point to capture that message. The new class of probationary firefighters is made up of young adults, kids in our world. And we need to connect with each and every one of them. They don't communicate or receive messages the same way our generations did. And it is our job as leaders to bridge that gap. The most successful futures, the most successful leaders in the future will not be those who can learn the most, but it will be those who can unlearn the archaic beliefs based on outdated management models. Old success models that are based on the world that was and not the world that is or the world that is coming. Applying an open management style is a great way to increase proficiencies and inspire confidence. And regardless of whether you're building relationships or inspiring teams, success will come from collaboration and the ability to engage all your members by accepting change when it presents itself. If someone in your battalion or crew brings up an idea of a new way of accomplishing something, don't take it as a challenge to your authority, but rather from a perspective that they care enough to mention it. Maintaining the core values of courage and selflessness in all your interactions. We'll maintain the respect of your peers in the community and never forget that the true function of leadership is not to produce more followers, but to produce more leaders. Congratulations to you all, and I look forward to witnessing your continued growth in our honor divisions. Never lose, this, never lose sight of the human side of our professions while embracing the responsibility that comes with your new positions. I have no doubt that each of you has the potential to be an exceptional leader. The environment you create will create the next generation of firefighters. I believe we will build this department internally. We don't need to look outside this city to build it. We have the talent. It's here. And I ask you to join me as newly promoted officers to prove that statement. I leave you with words from the brilliant author and activist Maya Angelou, who captured the real essence of true leadership when she said, I've learned that people will forget what you said and people will forget what you did but people will never forget how you made them feel. Thank you. As a result of their success in the competitive civil service examinations, 11 members are being promoted to the rank of police sergeant. Will the members being promoted to the rank of police sergeant please rise in your seats for the administration of oath by the Honorable Mayor Roz J. Barak. While they walking down there, I want to take a point of personal privilege. Uh, I think that first, uh, I want to thank the outstanding leadership of our public safety director, deputy director, and assistant director. But I, I just want you guys and ladies to acknowledge the highest ranking uniform officers that we have in Manuel Miranda and Chief Del Ortiz. I think they are doing an incredible job, and the words that they expressed here today is clearly what all of you should abide by. Uh, as you come up in the ranks looking for somebody to emulate. Those two and the things that they've said here today uh, need to be repeated over and over and over again. Uh, that being said, I wanted to be able to, to say that before we got out of here. And let's get to what we came here for in the first place. Uh, the oath of office. Please repeat after me. I state your name. Do solemnly swear. 
And I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey and bear true faith and allegiance to the same and to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people. I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully, impartially, and justly perform all the duties of the Office of Sergeant, Police Division, Department of Public Safety, City of Newark, according to the best of my ability. So help me God. Congratulations. Being promoted to the rank of sergeant are Monique and Augustine. Dan Barahona, Angel. Richard A. D'Angelo. Christopher DeCampos. <laughs> Shaquille C. Johnson. Rama Peoples. Veronica J. Rivera.
Valeria Sanchez. Kevin Wright Jr. All right, Sunshine. <laughs> As a result of their success in the competitive civil service examination, 11 members are being promoted today to the rank of police lieutenant. Will the members being promoted to the rank of police lieutenant please rise in your seats for the administration of oath by the Honorable Mayor Ray Crosby Barraza. All right, please, please repeat after me. I state your name. Do solemnly swear that I will uphold the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same and to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people. I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully, impartially, and justly perform all the duties of the Office of Lieutenant, Police Division, Department of Public Safety, of the City of Newark, according to the best of my ability. So help me God. Congratulations. Being promoted to the rank of Lieutenant R, Nicole S. Adams. Doris M. Gonzalez. Peter. 
Peter Malave. Samantha Robinson. Barbara Rosario. Robert C. Stevenson. Francisco Villasoa. <laughs> Mike Walker. Let's give it up for the amount of women that we've promoted. You see all these women we promoted? Tremendous amount of women being promoted. It's incredible. It's incredible. Now for fire. As a result of their success in the competitive civil service exam, 12 members are being promoted to the rank of fire captain. Will the members being promoted to the rank of fire captain please rise in your seats for the administration of oath by the Honorable Mayor Raj J. Baraka. Please repeat after me. I state your name. Do solemnly swear that I will uphold the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people. I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully, impartially, and justly perform all the duties of the office of fire captain, fire division, 
Department of Public Safety of the City of Newark, according to the best of my ability. So help me God. Congratulations. Being promoted today to the rank of fire captain, Don Alexander II. Zaki Barnett. Check. Daniel N. Pereira. Eddie Pinto. Empires. 
Eric S. Tannis. Joseph J. Choice. As a result of their success in the competitive civil service exams, eight members are being promoted to the rank of fire battalion chief. Will the members be promoted to the rank of battalion chief please rise in your seats for the administration of oath by the Honorable Mayor Ross J. Baraka. Please repeat after me. I state your name. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same and to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people. I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully and partially and justly perform all the duties of the Office of Battalion Chief, Fire Division, Department of Public Safety of the City of Newark, according to the best of my ability. So help me God. Congratulations. Being promoted to the rank of Battalion Chief, Vincent Barciano. <laughs> Michael Bellina. Deon K. Cobbs be along there. Kelton L. Hall. Troy E. Harrison.
David P. Michael. Kenneth Stephen Perez. Let's have another round of applause for all of our promoters today. I now ask that everyone please rise for our closing prayer by Reverend Louise Scott Roundtree, Council Member at Large. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm ready to talk to God, but I just want to take an administrative privilege as well. I've been working with some of you that have been elevated and promoted for over the years, quite a few years. I was not an elected official. I was just a little old me, still a little old me, a little black girl from Newark that um, was working with the Lord to cover all of you, pray with you, be on scenes with you, fire and police. Um, on behalf of our Newark Municipal Council, which we really don't ever get a chance to do this, I'm now an elected official, so I'm working for God and doing some other things. I want to salute you and congratulate you, and I want us to really make some noise so God can know that we're in the building as we salute these that have been promoted today. Now let us talk to the Lord for a brief second. Dear God, we come before you on this day, first thanking you for we know this is the day that you have made. You set aside this date to elevate. So now, God, that you have promoted them and they're seeing the fruits of their labor, we ask that you continue to cover each and every one, not just those who have been elevated by an entire department of public safety, fire, and police division. We thank you, oh God, for the awesome leadership in Mayor Raj J. Baraka. We thank you, God, that the vision that he's had and has and continues to have is to lead forward progressively so that the leadership can look like what's being promoted today. We thank you, oh God, for those that are serving on the other side, God, those that are waiting to see the fruits of their labor. But God, continue to keep them strengthened, continue to cover their families, continue to cover their homes as they go out to serve. Now, we thank you, oh God, for this day. And we will not take credit for nothing that you have done, but say thank you because we know that it's all marvelous in your eyes. We pray, oh God, for peace, power, and protection. Now we pray that you be in all of them to strengthen them, all of us to strengthen us, be beneath all of us to support us, because sometimes they're going to feel like they're falling. Go before them to guide them so they will not be led astray. Keep your loving arms and protection around them and their families and their homes. We shall be careful not to take credit for what you have done, but to say, to God be the glory, because we have ancestors watching over us on what is taking place today to cheer them on. So I'm praying this prayer, declaring and decreeing that it's already done, that they're going to be already one. So now we pray this prayer in the name of some who call you Jesus, some call you Allah, some call you Yahweh, some call you Elohim, but we get ready to part to serve. Don't leave our presence. In these names we pray. Can I get an amen?